In part D, we want to know the wavelength of the material. So that's 2 pi over k, or beta, but since it's lossless, we'll use k. And we solve for k already, so that's 0.5, and we get 12.6 meters. And then for part E, we want the relative permittivity of the material. And so we can look back on what we solved for previously to see if we can use those values to solve for the per permittivity of the material. And one of the things uh, that is helpful for us is to use the phase velocity. There's lots of different uh, ways we can solve for the phase velocity, and one of them relates to the material parameters. So that's 1 over mu epsilon, and actually you wouldn't really see it written like that. Usually it'd be 1 over square root of mu epsilon. So mu here is just mu naught because we were given that the material is non-magnetic. And epsilon is epsilon naught times epsilon r. So this is a parameter. And then our only unknown is epsilon r. So we can say epsilon r, and uh, once we plug in all the values, and up we previously solved for, is 2.25.